Uh, let's bring you some breaking news uh, in the last 15 minutes or so. Amazon has announced it's creating 10,000 new jobs in the UK, including opening four new uh, fulfilment centres. I'm not sure if I've got the right word for that. Fulfilment centres, I, I imagine warehouses. <laughs> let's find out with our business uh, uh, correspondent, uh, Katie Austin, who joins me now. When I say it's breaking news, Katie, I thought I'd, I'd heard about this a, a year or two ago, that the, these were in the pipeline. Well, it's certainly been expanding, yeah. and this hiring spree will bring Amazon's total UK workforce to 55,000. These new jobs, they won't just be at uh, warehouses or fulfilment centres, as they call them. They'll also be office-based roles, such as you know, and everything from digital marketing to, to engineering. And those new warehouses are going to be in Dartford, Gateshead, Hinkley and Swindon, as well as what they call a parcel-receive warehouse in Doncaster as well. Now, Amazon is a company that has um, previously denied allegations of poor working conditions, but it's certainly entrenching its position in the UK. Uh, to put it bluntly, people have been doing lots of online shopping, and that means companies like Amazon are doing very well. Uh, it doesn't allow unionisation. There has been quite a lot of criticism publicly and in the media uh, about the working conditions and, as you say, the poor pay here. Do we know what sort of quality of jobs these are? Well, yeah, Amazon has faced criticisms like that, and they have they have denied you know any allegations of poor working conditions in the past. They've given us some information about what the pay will be for operations roles. That'll be nine pounds seventy per hour or ten pound eighty in London. Amazon is also trying to. Uh, I say spin, it's trying to emphasise the fact it's also going to be investing in skills. Uh, it's going to be investing both in the skills of its own workforce and working with uh, British Chambers of Commerce uh, to try and identify um, places in the country that have certain skills gaps and see if it can invest there. So Business Secretary Kwasi Kwarteng has said this is a vote of confidence, he said, in the UK economy. All right. OK, Casey, thanks. MPs have urged the government to set out its plans to improve the adult social care.